Seriously, re-say what you're saying, because I agree. I have more to ask. Fuck. I don't talk to the cameraman, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? We're here to make videos. To make videos. We are making videos, Jared. Fuck. I've said enough. I'm going to let my actions speak loud. Fuck. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Hey, YouTube. Hey, TikTok. Um, what's up, OnlyFans? Yeah. yeah, we got some OnlyFans people probably yeah. following us. So listen, we're doing legs and we're kind of doing our own thing because we all have very independent personalities. So I'm continuing my mesocycle. I'll be doing pendulum squats and then Smith machine good mornings. Jared will be doing Smith machine squats and leg presses and leg curls. And then Charlie is gonna be doing some Smith Machine squats and leg curls. And we'll be trying to give you some technique tidbits along the way and a little insight in how real training works. And legs, all pretty quiet because legs is on the mind instead of words. Yes, we're doing this first because it warms my knees up. I feel a lot better for squats and quad work after this. And when you get about two sets in, three sets into this movement, you kind of just feel a lot better, like as far as psychological arousal goes. You know, once you start Smith squats or squatting or any quad pattern first, you might have some weird knee stuff. Even after a nice warm up, it still kind of feels weird, but two sets into this and I'm basically ready to go for the rest of the session. What Jared said, and I think he might've said this, but um, a cool thing about doing something, a not so difficult exercise that's not systemically fatiguing first, it's like especially for something like legs, which requires a ton of systemic arousal, it can be a little weird to like just hit the heavy shit first. You're just like half awake and you're like, oh, really, am I really into this? But if you hit an easier exercise first, by the time you're done with that, you're like juices are flowing, you're good to go, and then you can hit that hard shit. It actually works pretty well. How did that feel, Jared? Painful. Good. Very fucking painful. So this leg press, leg uh, curl is very good, but oh, the peak contraction being lighter than the bottom. Yeah, but if you put the some of these things on it, it's even better. Like, it feels like shit. I've done it. You don't like that? No. This thing's already slanted. That's I, literally what you're doing. I don't understand what you mean by slanted. This <laughs> pad is slanted. Okay. The more it's the slanted down, this... the worse it is. Mike, you're still, you're still slanted. Your hips are off of this. Right. The only yeah, thing what, do. Not just what we want to do is put our, our legs, if they're here, they enter here. If they're up here, and they then enter this here. this pad goes up here. That doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, the, it does. The, the pad <laughs> starts here when you go, and then uh -huh. when you go all the way down, you can get a deeper stretch in your hamstring. No, my, I literally get the full stretch. I'm just better at keeping my hips forward than you guys. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm on the ground right keeping now, your hips though. Forward. Hips yeah, are put it on up the there. machine. What? Hey Charlie, put that thing on there to get a really good stretch. Yeah. It's it's folded the exact same way. I just put it right there for you. Oh, it's so heavy. Eh. Uh. Uh. <sighs> yeah, right there. Oh, this might be too high though. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah. See how it's up on your calves now? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like shit like that. I'm here and I'm stretching my leg fully. So my knees are never even on this. Watch over my next set. So our hips are more like this? Yes. Does that mean we pre-stretch our hamstring? No. That's literally what it means. At the bottom, I have if a full stretch. If your hips are like this, that means you're not pre-stretching. You can watch me stretch. I watch it. It feels not, way better. It's not convincing. Well, it can feel better. I hear that and that's all personal. And then this is like up in the middle of my fucking calf. I feel nothing here. You can simply move up. Top. You can move up. No, you can't. I'm already on the top of this. Like, so like, 
you can put your feet. My heels at here, the bottom. Or you can put them here. My heels at the bottom. It's literally right here on my heels. Why don't you just and move that? It goes here. What's well, good? Instead of being here and then here. Well, that, that's good that it moves around because that means at the top the fulcrum is smaller, and sure. then that means you can hold but a better. Up, up here on your calf, like it's like awkward as fuck. But it's at the when top. This is moving over my calf. What's well, just just rollers? It's designed to do that. Yeah. Literally, it's. You don't like it's it? Awkward as fuck. Sure. Yeah, but on principles, this is a good idea. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's a good stretch at the bottom if you can't get a full that, stretch. That's exclusively why we do it. That's mm -hmm. the only reason why I'm doing it. That's why he gets the stretch. Yeah. His hips are actually over the line. That's what, that's on what the top I do of the too. pyramid. Yeah. I'm I do not that. tall enough for that. Oh, you're right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I do that and I actually, actually actively flex my quads uh, to make room, sure, sure, that sure. buffer to yeah. stretch, make it this. Yep. Yeah, stretch Put more. Put some fulcrum on it. Yeah. We figured it out, Jared. Yeah, I'm moving. You're just taller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said forward. I just, it, there's no forward for me. My legs are short, as short as crystals. I'm as forward as it gets when my hips are right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, Charlie. Let's go. Reach deep. There you go. Right to bottom every time. Yeah. <laughs> good shit, Charlie. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, uh, a little crazy beak attraction. A lot of people have suffered greatly on this machine. Oh, that's good. Trevor Fulbright was here. Oh, that was God. the level. <laughs> he wasn't able to get out of the machine after each set. He would just kind of slink in it for a while, and then he would fall out. <laughs> we just like <laughs> clean was him he up. Overreaching when he was here. Yeah, I thought so. That was cool filming. Yeah, him and Izzy just went completely nuts. Let's go, Mike. Oh yeah, these look great. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That was good. So just did a first working set here. The exercise we're doing, I'm doing, is the pendulum squat, I think. Jerry, is this a pendulum squat or a lever squat? What's Arsenal called? I call it pendulum. I think it is pendulum. Just... In any case, the same fucking machine. It's nice. The uh, pendulum squat has a few upsides and a few downsides. The downside is that it applies the least force at the bottom. That's the opposite of what you want for hypertrophy. The upside is that it seems to load the eccentric, especially starting from the top to the bottom quarter like crazy. It really helps me slow my eccentrics down in all the other exercises because all of my other leg movements hit the bottom the hardest. This is a little bit of interesting variation. I've been using it for a few months and it works quite well, ideally. I wouldn't want to leverage so much to the top and not the bottom, but it works pretty well. Gives me a great full range of motion. So not bait, not bait Arsenal. Oh, banana, yeah. Ooh, no. <laughs> I, I've been to church. I know how to say no to Satan. <laughs> Is he joking? Come on. Come on. 
Shit. Oh, thanks, Jared. Nice. Tough but good. Tough Just good. like my mother's love for me. Ooh. Jared, did your mom ever give you tough love? I got my ass kicked. I posted these on Instagram once. And this guy's like, because you know my cock's hanging through. This guy's like, I can see your cock. I just didn't know what to respond to that. Right on. Like, do you look for dicks actively in lifting videos? I can see your dick through your clothes, man. Do you want my number? <laughs> Two more. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Don't look right. Charlie looks, his legs look like he's five foot two. <laughs> That's proper proportions for a really jacked guy, five two for his legs. And then you're like, oh, you're 5'11", huh? I did that with no pressure. My belt completely came loose. No I way. Saw yeah, that way. I saw that. <laughs> that sucks. I was like, huh, do I restart? I felt okay. What? Felt okay? Felt fine. Thanks, Charlie. That's one side. It's good audio. It's Ugh. good clean audio. At least I'm not vomiting. Let's go, Jared. Come on. That's really nice. The easy, fun. Easiest rack ever. Just go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, so just to clear something up, folks. I hate my kids are totally. People, <laughs> I think that's anyway, been pretty clear. <laughs> um, people always tell us like, hey, you guys, Crocs, you, lo you love Crocs, you like to wear them. Um, and the reality is we only like to wear Crocs for one specific reason. Two, one, they're cheap, number one. Yeah. And two, they're just really easy to put on and take off and they're comfortable. This has three reasons. Reason four is they're quite durable, so you can just wear them for a while. And reason five is they're pretty ubiquitous. So you can wear them indoors, outdoors for many different activities. It's fancy places now because hipsters love that shit. Hipsters love it, so Crocs are welcome everywhere. But, but here's why we don't like Crocs. Their aesthetic appeal. <laughs> or because we, they're just like industry ho Croc lovers. Or because they're a really good lifting shoe and we found that secret. Because yeah. I get asked that all the time. Yeah, like, why do you lift in Crocs? And I'm like, I don't. And they're like, I swear to God, I saw you lifting in Crocs. They're like, you didn't. And they're like, well, that one time you were doing bench press. I'm like, well, I don't do bench press with my feet, you stupid <laughs> asshole. But also, let me clear something up. A lot of you folks, fine folks, great ideas. We love you all. You guys send us messages and tag us in posts that have like Croc underwear yeah. and Croc bikini top. You'll and love this, Jared. A car that looks like a Croc shoe. It's not registering on the Richter scale at all. Also, folks. on top of all that bullshit, Stop tagging me in your fucking croc bullshit. They work hard. Right. <laughs> Not me. Oh, God. <laughs> good. <laughs> this is going to be good footage. <laughs> Fuck. But, but seriously, guys, Charlie actually knows fashion. Jared and I are just put, trying to put clothes on our body. Yeah, look at my the, fucking outfit. Be, because the government says that we can't walk around naked. Yeah. <sighs> That's yeah. it. So, two things. One, one of you do good mornings. Playing with the rack height, I'm actually going a little deeper than usual. 
foot position slightly more behind, get a little bit more range of motion in the hams, maybe. So I've lightened the weight. I've been doing like 275. I'm gonna go to 225, see how that works. Little uh, ROM for a load uh, trade off. We'll see if it plays in my favor. And uh, you guys read comic books, remember adamantium? You guys ever seen duct tape made out of adamantium? Huh? Now watch this. You know adamantium is the hardest substance on earth. How can he do that? Fools. Simple human chemistry. Let's go. Keep those hips high. Up. Oh, yeah. That stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, even better. Yes. Ooh, come on. Oh, shit. This got better as you went oh, on. Oh, yeah. That was good. Kept the hips higher. Milk that, that last eight, a couple inches. Oh, more. yeah. Ooh. Thanks for those cues, Charlie. That yeah, really helped. Oh, just two sets of eight here will fuck me in the ass. Foot position is auto adjusted in a free good morning. Your center of gravity can't really change. Uh, with this, it sure as hell can, because you're stacked up against the machine. So I would say your feet a little bit behind where you would think. Usually gives your hamstrings more ROM and it doesn't tighten you at the bottom. Two sets of eight for me. That's my whole leg workout. Good. I'm gonna keep them hips high, stretch them hamstrings. Yes. Yes. Good tight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. That's it. That's, That's all it. she wrote. What do you got on the leg press, dog? What do I have? Two sets. Uh, this is a heavier day. It's 10 to 15 reps. The other day is my lighter day, I do my reps. So I'll do three sets Friday, I'm doing Friday. Yeah, so I'll do three sets on Friday. My rep match the first set, it'll be a lighter. Uh, leg press, but today it's gonna be heavy. So I have my soft music in so I don't kill myself. Come on. Ah! Fuck my headphones. Mm -hmm. Good job, dude. That was really good. Job, my best student and my son. Thanks, father. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. Did uh, oh no, Anakin Skywalker never had no daddy. He never had no daddy. He's just like you. Step the way. He got it. There it is. <laughs> Good Camera. boy. Charlie, how was your leg workout? Oh, it was a uh, fantastic, uh, decent stimulus for week one. Got a really good pump. Don't feel too beat up. Uh, don't feel like Jared over here. So I feel good. I watched an adult video once called Plastic Fantastic. 
Comments? It was latex, wasn't it? I don't know, maybe. It was latex. Definitely. Uh, Jared, how was your leg workout? Yeah, fuck legs, man. Okay. Yeah. Good then? It was fine. But hard. Yeah. You're sweaty. Yeah. Can we lick it off? Do you want to? Okay. I'm into it. Folks, my leg workout was good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Actually, really good. Not fantastic. My favorite part of the leg workout was being right about everything. Isn't that your favorite part about everything? It is. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, don't send me that. Chill out. Mm -hmm. All right. And on that note, <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. Oh, wait. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, fuck swipe, YouTube, you fuck, fuck tube, the whole thing. See you guys. Memberships. If you want to be a member, you get cool shit, a new video every week that everyone else doesn't get. So holler. It's uh, actually the join buttons right down there. Join. Boom. <laughs>